We've got a sneak preview at a really interesting piece. I mean, Dr. John has always been one of my idols. Uh, you know, I, I go down the list of the people that I've been blessed to work with, and and he was one of the ones missing on the list. So I approached him about a year ago to try and us do a piece together, but we never could personally connect. And um, we were able to connect recently, and I had this idea to do this keyboard that kind of had this really funky New Orleans vibe, at the same time a little voodoo vibe to it, featuring two of his gold records. So, Dr. John is really, you know, he's got, you know, severe carpal tunnel syndrome in his hand. If you ever see his other finger, it's been shot off. I mean, literally was shot off in a, in a, in a, in a bar fight. And so he signs his name very, very slow. So individual autographs from Dr. John are extremely rare because it is difficult for him to, for him to sign. Um, he's a type of keyboardist. I mean, he really bangs the keys. And, and so um, going over to his house, I said, let's do an edition that is extremely limited because it is very difficult for uh, Dr. John to sign and so the deal was that there would be a limited edition Jaclays. These are Jaclay prints which is the highest quality print that can be made and there are 400 in the sign and numbered edition and then there are a hundred in the special artist proof edition where Dr. John actually wrote Dr. John the Night Tripper then drew a crescent moon and a star to symbolize the crescent city on each one. Now that is incredibly rare to have that you know that extent of an autograph. I mean in, in the 25 plus years that I've worked with different celebrities and such. I've never had anybody that's done that, that extensive of an autograph. And so on a hundred of them, he did. Well, to make those hundred even more special, to make them really, really unique, I wanted to add, you know, real gold leafing and some other little special touches. So we're going to show you a little bit of kind of the process of adding the gold leafing to each one, which if you've seen some of my other videos, I mean, you can, you can see, I mean, it's, it's a very involved process. I mean, it, it literally, the glue that holds the gold leafing down has to be painted exactly where the gold leafing is going to adhere to and, you know, nowhere else. And it's a long and very involved process, but that's what makes these particular prints in the edition, these super special edition artist proofs, to be so incredibly valuable. You know, out of the out of the hundred. We've had phone calls from more major stars themselves, musicians, that have heard that we're doing this project that are reserving one for themselves. I mean, you know, recently Dr. John had this that incredible tribute at the Sanger Theater where, you know, everybody from Bruce Springsteen to to Bonnie Raitt uh, came, you know, to to, to honor him. I mean, you know, and we, you know, we forget what an enormous influence Dr. John has had, not just over Louisiana music and culture, but, but just music worldwide. You know, I explain to even younger kids, if they've ever seen the movie, you know, The Princess and the Frog, where, you know, the Disney movie. I mean, Dr. John did the vast majority of the music in 
that film. I also give them another really unique piece of trivia. I was always a big fan of Jim Henson's and the Muppets, and Jim Henson is quoted as saying that when he came up with the idea for the band, for the Muppets, you know, with Animal and all that in the band, that the leader of the band's name is Dr. Teeth, and he came up with it only after seeing Dr. John play in New Orleans. So when you see, next time you see the Muppets and you see Dr. Teeth, what you're really seeing is a rendition of Dr. John. Nothing can compare to the actual vibrancy of, you know, real gold leafing. And it's so delicate. I had applied this this morning to the, um, to the areas, let it dry, and then we'll now expose what are the highlighted areas in real gold leafing to accent his gold records, which, you know, are featured, you know, on the print. The process, as you see, is it's very, very, it's very, very involved. Each one is an original work of art. I mean, no two are exactly the same. I mean, there are no two of these that will be exactly the same. There's nothing in the world that can compare to the look of it. So again, there's a, there's a hundred of these, theoretically, but so many people have been reserving them because they heard about Mac, as they call him, you know, not Dr. John, Mac, doing this doing this project with me that I mean some of the names of the people that have reserved this piece are some of the biggest names in music. I mean it's really it's it's you know it's an honor to actually you know be be working with them. Always wanting to take it one one step further, I decided that I would go and pick select areas uh, within the actual art itself and individual rhinestones are hand applied to select areas on each one of the artist proofs and it is a slow and laborious process that you only get one chance to get it right. Now, what I'll do is also go into the upper areas and lower areas where the stars are and add individual rhinestones depending upon the size of the star. This is a very long process. And so what we're gonna show you is we're gonna show you a finished one. This is how they'll come. You've got all the individual rhinestones that have been hand applied into the stars in the area. The individually applied gold leaf. Dr. John, the night tripper, you know, with the crescent moon and the stars. The framing on this, what, what we're offering on this, is just your basic museum white in piano black, which, which just works so perfectly with the print itself. It, it, you know, with the vibrancy of the colors, it doesn't compete with it. The 400 prints that are in the collector's edition that he will sign Dr. John are $350 each. They're worth every penny. A gallery would sell them for $1,000 easily. The 100 prints that are in the artist proof edition with the gold leafing, hand applied rhinestones, along with him signing Dr. John, the night tripper, as well as him personally drawing a crescent moon and starburst those are $950 each. There is literally no telling what a gallery would sell these for. I'd estimate between three and $4,000. Out of the hundred artist proofs that exist, we probably have 50 as of right now. 
that are available with the rest of them going into some of the most famous musicians homes in the world and this is really something unique so my staff said if we don't do a preview of it what's going to happen is no one's going to ever even see these artist proofs or even have an opportunity to own one of the artist proofs and so i said you know that's right it's like you know let's go ahead and do this little quick video let's show it let's get it up on the website really quick go ahead and take orders for it as well as the version that's signed and numbered by him as well which is the same quality as your clay high-end print and you know give everybody you know a chance to own something that's 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 so special and so unique there's your sneak preview of the new piece the dr john piece the night tripper I love it. I think it's one of the better pieces that I've done. And not only that, it's so special because of all the little unique attributes that go into it. And again, you know, thanks for giving me the opportunity to come visit me in my studio and let me show you a little behind the scenes.